Hello, my name is Vita of Godland from loveorder.info Indigenous Human World Order of Godland is created <coughs> and upheld to return to the divine realms of powers of humans that has been stolen from us and today I'll be showing how I'm, how I'm making the runes the runes that we will return our power with and this will be used instead of metallic coins these wooden coins they will be registered by each living man, woman or other at their local indigenous society and they will either make themselves these coins out of a wooden stick I actually can show you the wooden stick you can take a wooden stick and just take a saw and saw the pieces and then you take a nice knife you need a knife it has to be quite nice good quality so you can work around the chopped little <coughs> coin sides and make them smooth from both sides and then you just need a usual pen that you put the necessary marks on the coin you have to mark your coins with runes or other indigenous writings that you want in your local indigenous human society agree on and register in your accounting of indigenous society banking in our system of Godland to return your powers to your local indigenous societies and then you can have uh, agreements with uh, the state that you form with your agreements and you have to get control over the banks through your agreements and over the central banks we have to take them back into our power to make big bonds you might use tally sticks I'm right now working on the very biggest tally stick ever. It's not finished yet, but it, the wooden part of it is fixed. It's just now about to be marked with these lovely marks. Like here we have this, the seal of Ditto of Godland, that is my name. This is the seal that is burned into the tally stick and it's going to look like this then. And then you put number on it, on the accounting number. You, you put the parties that are in your agreement here. For example, if you burn it, the accounting number. Here you write the number of the deal, the amount in the world indigenous runes that are right now equivalent to one euro or one dollar one world indigenous rune and uh, so the tally stick is split into two 
then the partner in the agreement gets one side and the other gets the other and you write the same deal numbers on both sides this is a very uh, bent tally stick I have never made anything like this before but I decided to use this piece it's by the way very like a gun and this is the only gun we need okay I'll go on later so where were we I was talking about <clears throat> this tally stick pair we have a pair of two tally sticks that is one complete couple so it's already half prepared almost done but it's the wooden part of it is done it just has to be filled in it may be filled in with the usual pen or it may be burned in with a burning <coughs> metallic device that I have in electric very comfortable or it may be done <coughs> by heating metallic devices on fire any kind of fire this is Freya's rune on <coughs> these quite professionally made runes with my <coughs> Ditters of Godland seal this is number one rune the Freya's the order of love that's Freya's order and this is the date until which it, this rune is um, valid so back to this <coughs> I was talking to you that this is unusual tally stick that it is bent and that's why I chose it to be bent because we are changing the monetary system we're changing the path and that's why it's bent and it's uh, it looks like a gun actually it's the only gun we need no other guns just wooden tally stick gun that creates the love order I haven't filled it in yet but this tally stick will be used to fill in the whole income of whole humanity to create monthly income without any work for each man, woman, and or other on the earth. <clears throat> when I have filled it in in a proper manner, as the bond it is of me, the chief of indigenous human world order bank of Godland. I will fill in to provide monthly income for each man, woman or other on our Mother Earth. And it will be written here. The amount will be written here in the inside. It will, it will have my name and the Central Bank of Sweden will be the partner that <clears throat> we are <clears throat> converting transforming <clears throat> Central Bank of Sweden into the world indigenous humans Central Bank of Godland that will be receiving these bonds rather this bond talistic bond oxa bond and I will keep the other side in my accounting and by this bond we will change the monetary system of the world 
And what does that mean? It means that the base of the monetary system of the world furthermore, further on, will be a live man, woman or other. Each human is the base. It has been like that always, but the problem has been that humans have been taken hostage into bondage and they have been <clears throat> registered as collateral for debt. But through this stylistic OXA system, humans are no collateral for debt anymore. They are the creators of OXA monetary system. They are the base of it and they fill in their indigenous OXA bonds each month to say I'm alive, I'll have the income for me as the highest value there is on earth, human being. And the share of the pie goes automatically to the human being for its needs. In all 14 areas of the rights of Godlanders, including accommodation, including food, including clothes, including telecom costs, basic transportation costs, everything will be given to each human for basic needs as part in the human civilization or rather in human culture of love order of Godland. So and now I'll be <coughs> filling in the other runes because I have um, I'm just creating now these coins and uh, I have here five coins for the Latvian society with this webpage labia.lv but I need to create other runes Now I could create some for the Swedish society. Here are the runes. In a little bag they come. And uh, as we are talking English now, I will show you what these runes mean in English. This is not a static, we can improve it all, we will improve it all. Now we have to create the basics so that we can use these things. You see here I have just five rune coins, oxa coins, and would you believe that I have here in my hand 58 euros. Not bad. So, and uh, when I'm done with this kit, I can use them as to, to throw runes as well, to talk to, with the high forces, to get advice. It's very spiritual contact with the gods, too, our runes. Okay, so now I'll be doing more runes. So I have here... <coughs> 
prayer number one I have Uruz number two I have <clears throat> Tivas or Tor number 17 I have Ingus Ng or Gun number 22 and I have number 25 Yur the empty rune but then I need 20 more so I could do now the Suri Surisas number three. So how do I do that? You see, I could take something for you to be able to see. I'll do it. I will be doing it. I'll just do it. So, oh, where are my pens? I need some pen. That is good. I thought from the beginning that the thin pens would be nice, but no, you better have fat ink. So it gives more ink. Okay, here we go. I will start with the Sigil. So I need the Sigil of Swedish. Yeah, I know the one. I know the one. It's one with a Swedish crown. Indigenous crown. The crown of Vikings. So, um, first I do <coughs> the sigil, the seal of Godland. You can't see what I'm doing, huh? I can put one more book. Will this be a bit better? Not much. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be doing this seal of Godland. And you can you can just sort of you don't have to make it perfect. You just draw it. So you can see the crown, the, the little crown of Godland. That me and uh, Leif of Godland, we the Dyarks, we share one crown. There is a circle inside. And five claws on of the bear. And then there is a little 
hill and a bear inside. It doesn't make very well, but it doesn't matter. You can sort of guess that that is the seal of Godland. And then I write, or you write, my name on it. My name is Ditta. And I write on the coins, I write it with the little letter. But then I have to write the name of Leif and his web page because this will be the Swedish. This will be the Swedish coin for Swedish market by indigenous society in Sweden and uh, <clears throat> so I will draw here the Swedish I'll first write his name no, his web page. No, I'll put his name under the web page because his name is short but the web page is long. So I'll put Leif on this little thing, little place. There is very little place here. And I make it with little letters. And then I We'll put the web page. The web page is M S S dot Lege dot net you see I didn't get the place so I'll bend it up here wasn't very pretty was it the first time I'm doing the Swedish coin I'll have to improve it anyway it's it works it doesn't have to be perfect you see and then I'll just need his sigil, and his sigil is his seal. Is face of the king with a crown in it. So this is not at all very beautiful. But it's good enough. Then I go on to do <coughs> the rune. The rune I will do will be Surizat number three. It has to be the rune has to be written <clears throat> on the same so you can switch it like that and it is readable on the same side And above it, I have to put the date and under it the number of the rune. So, I'll start with the date. Uh, 
that's the date above then I put the third result number is three and I'll put it here under I could have put it lower lower but it is how it is and now I'll have to do the rune So that's that's the result rune number three. Surisa's rune. And now the only thing that is left to do, I have to put on the side of it the number of this coin, the, the code, the indigenous human world order bank of Godland Oxa coin code. And it goes, as you see here, it starts with the indigenous society name initials. Then it has the state initials. Then it has the place of indigenous society initials. Then it has <clears throat> the indigenous society's accountants initial. Then it has Indigenous Society's kin initial and the by kin issued coin initial. So this code, this length of code gives you all information about this coin, when, who created it. And that code and this coin has to be registered in the indigenous societies, accountants, accounting books. Okay. It's very safe and it will be photographed as long as the electricity works. We can photograph and keep them. And we can print them out in coin books for safe money accounting. Now I will be doing this side numbering. And for that I have to again think where is up and down. So I have to do to start down. And then it's important which side to I have to start on the side of the seals under and from the side of the seals I turn it like that and here I start writing this will be <coughs> Swedish society it's called in Swedish then e sure urfolks thing that means Friends Oath Indigenous Humans Court Then Eads Her Ur folks Menesho King
It's a long word, but it gives you exactly the code for the quality of the process. So the name of it is Vesumt. Vesumt. Then Edsjö Urfolks Människor Team. It means Friends O.C. Indigenous Human Court. Huh? No artificial intelligence co courts, huh? No, no apps deciding over, me over indigenous humans. Not here. And uh, then we start putting uh, all the information on it. So then I then this indigenous court has an agreement with indigenous approved state and that is the state or where the monarch Leif the first is indigenous king so I write it here s for state Monarchy State Sweden. You see, it comes on nicely. Even under such a little space, you can do it very well. <clears throat> and the next number is the place. The place, this place is And then you put on the accountant's number. So societies. In Swedish it is Föreningsbokförare and it gets my name because I am accounting it. My initial. And then it is <clears throat> then I put on the kin that is producing this money for which kin. And this is my kin I can produce for others too, but I, this is the first kit. I'm producing it for my kin. In Swedish, I write it. And this is the first kin. The first kin is my kin, of course, because I'd create it first for my kin. And then I put on, the last number I put on is the number of the coins. And this is coin number six. And it comes under initials. E. E. 
And this is number six. Oh, so yeah, you see, and I still have the place here left. After all this writing I've done on the side of it. And then I have, and then you need just a little book where to write it all in. Oh, I have it, the book I have under here. But I have to show it because it's really nice to know that it's so simple. You just need a little book where you write everything in. This is the book. Of registration of all oxas. With the registration number of them. And here we have the oxa bonds. You see? You on one A4 you have four oxa bonds. And these are the oxa bonds that you have to fill in each month to prove that you are alive and you will have your income. Hey, Mumbai guys. You will have your income. Mumbai vaira guys, tu nepareiz pagriez, guys, nenākam. So, and you will have your income without any work. You will get the basic needs covered for you. So you can see here something that I have filled in. Looks When it's filled in, it looks like this. And you get it stamped in your local indigenous society. It's counted there. And then it goes away to indigenous then it goes away to <clears throat> your local city council or village council and uh, the economy chief has to convert it to the by them imposed monetary means and you have to demand their um, agreement that they have from you to use that monetary system that they're using and they don't have it and uh, that's something you have to demand that you want to have an election and a vote about the monetary system a referendum that's the most important thing to have and until they hold such a referendum we are all um, hostages in the one that they have imposed upon us without any choice and that's why you bring these oxa bonds to them and say we have our indigenous society we are the highest value there is we are humans we are the base of this society and we have the rights to have the means from the basic needs for us to be doing good in this society and not to be slaves of those who have created this money scheme and are imposing different businesses that they want to have done who are really harming people mainly in 90% of jobs and so you demand them and put the copy that is the copy of the bond that you that goes to this council
because actually the ones who have the agreement to hold you hostage it is the church so bring the I'm actually now doing something that I, I'm saying something that I have not done and I'm, I have not yet tested to bring it to the church, the bond. I have been uh, carrying them to the council, to the economy chief, the original bond. But I have just recently understood that the Fraud is committed by Catholic Church, by any church that is a corporation, imposing their <coughs> currencies upon you. This is a business. Church is a monetary business. They have <clears throat> taken your souls, put as the collateral into their money scheme, and they force you to use <clears throat> their fake money. <clears throat> and you just Bring them your oxa bonds. And use it like for the. You put them, give them their oxa bond, your oxa bonds, and you say, You are holding me hostage, but these are my oxa bonds. <coughs> this is my oxa bond that proves that I'm a alive man or woman or other and I am not your slave by my will you have enslaved me and I have my Godlander rights my human rights my indigenous rights You holding me captive in your monetary system. And by this Oxa bond, I claim my right to basic needs. Through God and the rights. That you find on this webpage, loveorder.info. There, there are statutes for the Worldwide Court of Godland, Worldwide Bank of Godland, and Godlander Rights. You have to download them all, and you can get these OXA sheets there too. You will get four OXA pieces on one A4 form. There is both basic OXA, like this one, monthly basic OXA, it's one, two, you see. But there are also professional oxa, education oxa, pension oxa. Because it is uh, the church. You have to get this to the church and demand them to convert this into your account. Because you are their hostage. They have deceived you. They have done deception on you, they have not informed you that they are holding you hostage in their pyramid game. But by this oxa you, you take back your power and you demand income to restore and repair yourself and your kin, your society,
<coughs> because all commercial banks are also owned by the Vatican. But right now they are going over to blockchain and that's why now this is the crucial time to use OXA bonds and restore the right system using this tally stick that I have prepared for everybody's needs. Okay? I am the chief of indigenous world order human bank of Godland and I will provide everything for every each man woman or other on our mother earth you will not starve anymore nice piece of work huh this is uh, Swedish indigenous craftsmanship and um, so you just get your sticks, make your coins, split the tally sticks and make your tally sticks for larger amounts that you need to use. But for, first of all you need to, to make your indigenous society and know your rights. So, um, I wish you all the best and we cannot keep living with their credit cards that uh, are, that is a system that is owned by these pirates that have taken the humanity as collateral for their business holding us hostage slaves and they are not now planning to kill us all with this absolutely fake COVID murder plan COVID 5G murder attack so it's the right time to have a nice walk in the woods and prepare your own OXA tally coins and have great fun with it. One kit of indigenous Scandinavian runes has 25 pieces, but check out your local indigenous wisdom and use your own runes or whatever you call them. Just inform us, Dirks of Godland, about how you want to create your own monetary system, monetary OXA system, that is never dead. It is a gift economy and it is a crime not to convert these OXA bonds until a quota of resources of your local society and you have to make agreements with your local food chains, resource chains. You have to nationalize everything your people need that you have right to do in your local indigenous societies. So get off your knees and enjoy the new era of OXA gift economy.